Hello everybody, time to test fly the ASW-17. My brother bought her six, seven years ago, possibly longer. He put the kit together, ordered the box, there was a box was for carrying. We took it to a flying site, a place called Codden Hill in Devon. We flew it at once, it was too much trouble to fly. You had more time trying to trim it, and you couldn't trim it than what you did actually flying it. So we went back, we haven't flown it. So it's only recently I've got back in RC models. I've been flying and rallying for a while. I thought I'd give this one another try. So there she is in the box, all ready to go. So we took her out. Anyway, we um, we soon found out that she's, um, when the kit was put together, the servos had the wires bent, so you couldn't alter them other than on the servo arm. So I flew the glider a few times, and that's the that there's not a, a breath of thermal, not a breath of wind. That was the Avermouth plume that you just seen there. It's a one column of smoke that goes up off the chimney. Anyway, this is the first flight, as I say. It um it wouldn't climb out, and if I didn't pull back on the stick to try climb in, the thing would go into a dive. So all the time I was trying to climb, I had to be holding the stick back and doing left and right. And take it from me, you can see she was ducking and diving all over the place. How I never crashed her in, I don't know. But um, eventually climbed out. And as you can see, the motor wouldn't cut. In a minute, I'm flying around. I went too far out the front. And um, nice and high. And I thought, time to cut the motor. Um, I cut the motor and I didn't realise it too far at the front. I couldn't see the motor was still running. So I'm trying to get results with the stick and trimming and the plane's trying to do another thing. And as you can see now, she's ducking and diving. And I had hell trying to get her back. And it wasn't until she dropped down and come back into good visible sight that I could see visually that the um, prop was still spinning. And eventually, after all this ducking and diving and falling out of the sky, literally I just had no control at this point. But I did eventually get control. This isn't an easy glider to fly. I, um, even with the trimming right, which I'd now done, I, I later went up to uh, Blaze Castle for a coffee, sat back and everything, and I managed to get the wires sorted. And I had a fly up there after, and I now got her flying really smooth. And she's climbing out on a middle stick. And if I want to climb that extra bit, I can pull back on the, the adjustment on the trimmer. But um, anyway, I've got her flying properly now. So hopefully, next time we go out, there'll be some uh, thermal and some wind. Because today there is no wind and no thermals. But here I am. I'm still. This this was how. This was a hell of a three or four minutes where I literally was fighting her control. You're trying to get her to fly straight so you can let stop playing with the stick and alter the trimmer and get control. But as soon as you do, she dives and you've got to get back on the stick. How the hell I eventually saved the day, I don't know. But uh, it went, as I say, till she got low and I could see the propellers were still spinning. And I eventually saved the day. There you go, I've got her back under control. Well, when I say control, control still not my smooth flight. But as you can see, the camera on the front of the glider, how I got it, is um, positioned in the nose cone. Yeah, at this point now, as she got low, I could see this, the motor was still running. And what it was, is I'd, I'd ordered the settings, and I had the motor cut, so it had cut. And to get it to run extra fast, or to, uh, to run at all really, I had to push the trimmer forward. And I forgot I had the trimmer push forward. So after I cut what I thought I'd cut the motor, the trimmer was still running. Anyway, coming into land is no doddle. Because it ain't too get near the ground, she wants to float on. You've got to have two or three attempts to try not to be too far away, so you've got to walk across the field. Anyway, that was attempt one. Flight two. I played with the, the um, adjustment. I've lifted the arm off the servo and put it back down in a different position. 
and um, just play with her in general. I put the battery in a different position, and away she goes. She's still like a bag of shit. But at the end of the day, she is so lacking in power. If you don't duck in and dive, as I say, is you you are not relaxed playing this thing for one second. It is lack of power, as I say, and a climb out. Well, that flight didn't climb out worth a carrot. But this ASW17, at this point, I was starting to think, oh, this ain't no good. I'm get the easy glider. They're easy to fly. But, as I said, I went up place castle, thought about it, and I had a flight out there, but without the camera on. And I think I've now got her flying good. So, the next bit of video, hopefully, she will be flying a lot better. When she's down low and visibly in sight, you could fly her a hell of a lot easier. As you can see, I'm darting around, but she's only like eight, nine, and five foot off the ground. But she's controllable because it's in sight. Okay, flight three. Still again, ducking and diving. I've done more alterations. In the end, as I say, I've got it right. And you'll, I'll see next flight I have. But there was no thermal today. There's a hell of a haze out there. There's clouds over Wells by the look of it. So whether they were flying the anglers over there, I don't know today. But trying to fly this is uh, worse than flying any angler. If she's up one minute, down the next. Up one minute, down the next. It's the further away you get from your eyesight, you, you've got less chance of... That wasn't a bad turn in actual fact there, that. Ideally, it would be turning the horizon, going from corner to corner and staying there in the whole turn. But as you can see, it's up and down. Um, this is basically, I don't really know what it is, you just have to pick the handle. But as I say, I'm hoping now, with the tuning I've done at Blaze Castle, and the two flights out right there, I was well happy with it. And all I'm thinking of now is that, when I go on to the, um, the PC later on, the Miss Skyfly transmitter, I'm hoping that um, I can put the power up on the on the power. It says percentage how much you want on 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 a stick. Well, I've got it given a hundred percent, but I'm wondering if it's like my other controller, I might really go up and, and give it 120, 130 percent, which will increase the power. I'm not sure until I try. But anyway, there she is, she flies. A lot harder to fly than the Easy Glider or the Radion. But, um, it'd be more fun, I think, once I've sorted it. And when I fly it in the lift, either in thermal, there's Lyra. Lyra loves it. She's been running non stop every time I fly. But there you are, back on this ground safe. That's the main thing. I've now flown her, and she's safe to fly and handle. Thanks for watching anyway. Keep your eyes on this space. We'll fly some more soon. Keep the rest out for now.